I don't know what else you could add to this team unless you want you want Nice to come back for another year and you want Cooley to stay for four years. But <laughs> no, let, let's be real though. Like Deegs was saying, it's not a done deal that Nice is gone after this year. With how much we've seen Kyle Dubis hanging around, like that just tells you it's not a hundred percent yet. Which could you imagine if they brought that whole first line back? That would be electric. Um, curious though, from your guys' perspective, we've seen Nice peppered in the chat a little bit. I'm kind of curious, like, what are the odds of a gopher winning the Hobie? And who do you actually think's got the better candidacy between Cooley and Nyes? Nyes has the better candidacy, just the combination of what he's done. Uh, coming back another year, I think the issue with Minnesota is all, especially all of them, like, they, they got the two in the top 10, but it almost feels like all their candidates, because uh, I mean, we mentioned you could probably, you could have Snugger, you could have Avery, you could have Lacombe, like, you could really legitimately have five, six guys, like, be in that top ten and you would blink an eye. But the issue, I feel like they all kind of cancel each other out. There's no one that you look at it and are like, this is somebody who dominates. This is someone who's the best player in college hockey this season. They're all elite college hockey players. It's a very the, – the top line is one of the best lines in college hockey in the last decade. I mean, you'd probably have to throw them up there with the Michigan CCM line. Uh, you get put up the North Dakota CBS line. There's several very good lines that like you they're they're in that conversation. But it's just really tough to kind of see where exactly you'd fit uh, one of the Minnesota players as the best player in the nation. I think that's kind of where someone's going to come. Just come short. I'm just going to let this comment sit it, sink in for a little bit. For the people that can't see, Ramsey Stash is 11 out of 10 <laughs> from the City Life Project. Underselling it. Yeah, eleven out of ten is underselling. You. That's absolutely correct. Um, I guess <laughs> moving on from that, I guess I'll move into uh, just about Matthew Nyes too. I think I, I I definitely agree, Nate. I think it's I think it's Nyes. Um, I think back to last year, kind of when he um, he and Ben Myers were kind of the, the the tandem, and I think some people I don't think a lot of people, but some people did worry that like, oh boy, is is Nyes going to be the same guy without Ben Myers? And uh, he's the same guy, but a lot better <laughs> than he was last year, obviously. Um, and he really took that step that everyone was expecting him to take. But I think in the back of people's minds, they just worried a little bit. There we go. 100 out of 10. Um, but I think Nye's just really, really stepped up his game this year. And it's just been incredible to see how much he can change the game on his own. I think Cooley can do that too. But I think from a fit, like just a complete perspective in terms of like – Obviously, Cooley's super quick, and he can just dart down, dart into the offensive zone, and kind of create a chance. But I think I think Nyes can do. He's obviously not. I don't think is the same skater that Cooley is. But I think combined, in terms of making a physical play, uh, back checking his back, his, his neutral zone play without the puck is just crazy. Because I mean, he he turns every every opposite opposite chance into into a potential. Uh, scoring chance the other way and because Cooley can just jump so quick and get back into the offensive zone and bam they got a chance so I, I definitely would have to lean nice I think uh, if, if a gopher wins it I think he's just been the complete package so far this year yeah that's fair when well, I gotta throw this in there too just because like it'll have Isha rushing for like the Kirkland sized lube um like if you're Matt Nyes like why not play another year or two with the Gophers? Like by all notes, he loves being a Gopher, loves being in college. And then he can go to whatever team he wants. Say, I don't know, the Arizona Coyotes with Logan Cooley, with, uh, you know, Austin Matthews, who's probably going to head there as soon as he's done with the Leafs. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like an awful lot to walk away from and say, oh, I'll just sign with the Leafs. Hoppy's got a wild jersey up, but he I think it should be an Arizona Coyotes jersey behind him. He seems like a pretty a pretty big coyote stand right now. So he should just hates Toronto. So <laughs> Okay, okay. 